these are the Phil T1X True Wireless in-ear headphones. It says they are sweat, water, and dust resistant. So I'm excited about that. Let's see what all comes inside of it. We have quick start guide, don't really need it, and the user manual. Should be simple enough, don't need it. So here's the carrying charging case. Has the nice fill logo on the glossy black, surrounded by matte black. So you put your headphones in. Type-C port for charging. Then we have the earbuds. Also all black with the fill logo on them. Not too bad looking. Nice, easy design, nothing too flashy. I personally like that. Not that one. Uh, looks like they just magnet right in. Then we have the Type-C cable. It's about a few inches long and then after that we're gonna have all the different accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and get these charged and get back with you on how they sound. While they charge, I'm gonna go over the UI interface. They are touch sensitive. The left earbud controls the volume up with one tap, three taps volume down. The right side with one tap you get next track, two you get play pause, answer and call, three you get previous track, and if you hold it for two seconds you'll get your voice assistant or you'll reject those unwanted calls. Okay, headphones are charged and connected to my phone. This is what they look like whenever they're put in. You got this side view there. They fit really snug, especially with all the different attachments you can get that perfect fit which is something that Phil did that they didn't have to do. They could have just put headphones in a box and been like, here you go, that's what you get. But no, they gave you all those different accessory options. Now, I've listened to a few songs and they sound really, really good. The bass hits hard, it hits clean. The treble sounds amazing. The highs, mids, lows, they're all nice and crisp. And there's this app that lets you control any of the EQ settings that you want. Now let's dive into that. Let me show you what that looks like. So right off the bat, you have your select headphones. Now if you just tap fill T1X, you hit enter and it pulls up your headphones and it's, as long as they're connected to your phone, they'll already be connected. This screen shows your battery life. Scroll down, you got instruction manual. Three dots are all different settings you can go through, like easy mode, which just limits your, basically your UI system. You have load latency mode, which that's for watching videos or playing games. You have high sensitivity for either the left or right side. Then you have upgrade, firmware, it's up to date. More settings, this is how you recover sync. Now if we go back, this is my favorite part, the EQ. Right out of the box, it has it on original, which sounds really, really good. I didn't even know about the app until after I started reading more about the headphones and the user manual and on the box. Now you can have it bass boosted, you have treble boost. Let's go back to original. More EQ, you have car stereo, classic, light music, home, something, metal, Pop music, R&B, dance, rock. I'm assuming that's home theater. Can't really read it all that much. Yeah, home theater. Yeah, we'll just go right back to car stereo. I will say, Phil did really good with these headphones. I'm surprised I've never heard about the brand because these sound really good for the price range. But that's it for me, guys. I'll catch y'all later. This review was all made possible due to our friends over at Tic Tac, who sent us the headphones to do a review over. You can get to them by going to TicTac.com, Product, Electronics, and then the Phil T1X right here for $49.99, or simply click the link below in the description. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.